Smith. And I like to dedicate this song to the hometown syndrome worldwide. I'm from a small city down here in Texas. Cold hearted with a whole lot of hate. Everybody wanna see what you're doing. But they don't wanna see you trying to be great. You can try, you can try, but if you do it. A lot of smiles gon' turn into frowns And now these streets actin' like the police They just wanna shoot a young nigga down I was only tryna make things better Do a little something good with myself I had to do it all on my own though Cause y'all would laugh when I asked for some help I just wanted y'all to listen, that was it But I guess you didn't really have the time my brother Biggie, uh, November 9 is his birthday. Uh, I can remember when we were young, he was celebrating his birthday by having a house party. And it ended up being like, live like the movie house party was. A lot of people, it was a lot of fun. Uh, his parents just kind of let us do what we was doing, and we had a good time, man. Nothing got broke. No police got called. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we had fun. Um, have a lot of good memories. I mean, in the beginning, I was the one that always took music serious out of everybody that I knew. When I first met E, he was playing around with it. He had the talent to do it. But I think after a while of being around me, he kind of made his mind up of what direction he wanted to go with the music thing, you know. And um, he's the only person that ever beat me in a freestyle battle also. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was in 99 at Justin House in the, in the Curve, for those who remember the Curve day. You know what I'm saying? Um, as a kid, he was, you know, he was the clown. He was like the one that that make you laugh. He would he would rank on you so hard to where you would probably either want to cry or you would want to fight, <laughs> one way or the other. But uh, and as a man, you know, when he was released from the pen, you know, I noticed the change in him. And um, he was uh, more focused when he came out. Um, he waited in the cut for about three months just to observe what was going on. And then he got in the lab and he made his first mixtape real quick because he had all those songs written while he was incarcerated. Then he made his second project and um, the, I guess the, mute, the the song that probably stands out the most to me is Where Your Edge Is At. Uh, <laughs> the day that he let me hear that was a weird day. Uh, it was after the funeral of our friend Chris Henry. And we were chilling at Lil Jesse house in South Park. And we kind of surrounded his truck and he was like, hey, check this out. I want y'all to listen to it. So he playing it and the hook come on where your edge is at. And I fell in the streets laughing, hands out, looking like I was retarded. Because that's how funny it was. I mean, first of all, you know, I understand his angle. He had to make a record like that to catch the attention of the people. But to catch the attention of the people and you would make a song called Where Your Edge Is At has to be some of the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. And to this day, that record will forever stand out to me, even though he, he admitted that that was just a throwaway song or that was just a song just to gather the attention. And it wasn't his, you know, necessarily his best foot forward. That was just more so an attention seeking moment. And um, that record still has value to this day, as does his last project. Um, 
today, I just wanted to remember the good side of my brother. You know what I'm saying? Because it hurts that he is not here on the day when he would have been 39 years old. You know what I'm saying? Us, Flames Radio, Flames TV, Unpopular Honesty, One Man Records. We want to send a happy birthday out to Elliot Gerald Lemoines, a.k.a. Flames Wordsmith or Big E. And I want to shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Lemoines. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll be back.